Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Rock and Roll Spot coming at you. Uh, over the past couple days, uh, some big deal uh, movie trailers were uh, released. First off, we got what is being referred to as the second teaser for uh, Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. Also, we got our first look uh, of footage from Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Um, so, my thoughts on the two trailers. Uh, first off, Episode Seven. Uh, first off, had an excellent blend of both new and old things. Uh, we had some of the main characters in the original trilogy. Um, R2. We see Luke's new mechanical hand. There's a scene that, you know, at least... There's a clip in the trailer that at least alludes to Princess Leia. The Falcon's there, and... And then there's that scene with Han and Chewie, which just makes me giddy still. <laughs> um, also... Some of the new elements um, and further new looks. Um, we already saw that Stormtroopers had have had a, their uh, look redesigned from the first teaser trailer, but uh, we we also see some of the new characters. Um, but and then there's also uh, the Chrome Trooper, which I'm hoping that's not just a. Uh, a single character. I'm hoping that's like part of a legion. Uh, rumor is that um, Gwendolyn Christie, who plays uh, Brienne of Tarth on Game of Thrones, is playing the leader of that group, or and or possibly that character. Um, but there's also a new Imperial logo, which I'm. I have to admit that's probably the one thing I'm just kind of like, eh. The old one, the old Imperial logo is just, to me, a classic thing and just should not be changed. Um, it, it, at the same time, even with all the new stuff that's shown off, there's a very nostalgic feel, even to the new things. Um, some of my favorite things from, from the trailer itself uh, there's a Starship graveyard, which I, I just I just find that idea is really cool. And I, I think it's. It, it tells story without. Having to, it tells backstory without having to have twenty minutes of exposition. Um, you see a crashed X-wing, which, to be perfectly honest, the first time I watched the trailer, I didn't realize it was a crashed X-wing until it hit, until I saw the crash. Stars were like, "Oh, that was a crashed X-wing," um, and I just I just love the thought of there being a planet which it looks, even though it's a desert planet, it is not Tatooine. Um, I do not remember the name of the planet. It has an odd name that starts with a J, but most um, Star Wars planets have fairly odd names. Um, I, just, I really just love the idea of Starship Graveyards because in science fiction. Because to me, it's like an entire society can be can basically build itself around these halt these you know crashed hulks, you know, they can just be like, well, we'll make a city out of this uh, Star Destroyer. Or what's left of it, at least. And I, I think that idea is just really, really cool. Um, some Starfighter action. Uh, we get more of the X-Wings from uh, the initial teaser. Um, there's a TIE fighter that's shooting up a uh, landing bay, which I'll, I'll actually get to that later, because that, that's kind of relates to another point. Um, there's the Falcon getting be, being awesome and getting chased into the engine of a ship, and that that is probably the scene well, right now. The sequence I'm looking forward to seeing in its entirety, the, uh, out of everything else. Um, now moving on, um, the uh, I mentioned the Tie Fighter shooting up the uh, landing bay. Now most people are are presuming that it's our uh, our. Our black stormtrooper from the teaser trailer. That's how he escapes by stealing a Tie Fighter, shooting, shooting up a landing bay, and bugging out. Personally, I and I'm honestly looking at this as a long, a serious long shot. Like the degree of long shot to where you know betting on it is just a, a really, 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 really bad idea. And that is that um, various. Uh, Imperial officials and off, and flag officers since the, the death of the emperor have basically 
made their own small fleets, which and they are, and each one wants to become the new emperor. So, um, then, uh, but like I said, that's probably a long shot. Um, if that happens to be the case, I'm be, I, I will be so happy. Uh, Luke's narration is very cool. It harkens back to it, the, what he says to, to Leia in Jedi when uh, he reveals to her that uh, their brother and sister. In fact, it may well be the same exact speech, but um, the way it comes off just... It, it seems like he's not... It, it doesn't seem like he's saying it to her so much as he's saying it to another character. Um, and during that portion, there's a, a look at uh, Vader's... The remains of Darth Vader's mask all burned up, and that just looks... Seriously awesome. Um, there's also a very quick glimpse of our villain, and oh, yeah, he, he looks very much like Darth Revan from uh, the uh, Kodor game. I believe in Kodor 2, but I still think it's really cool and can't wait to see him in action. Now, even though I mentioned that the sequence I want to see the most is the, the Falcon being chased through a, uh, a one of the Starship Hulks on the, on the Starship Graveyard. The scene that has been making me giddy since I since I saw it um, two days ago is the end scene with Han and Chewie presumably walking into the Falcon and Han just saying, Chewie, we're home. And I, I get giddy watching it and seeing it. Um, over, my overall reaction, I, I, I'm still nerding out from two days ago about it. Um, I'm also getting, I, I, I had like, I feelings of nostalgia, uh, even even involving the new things. Um, and I, I'm making me, it's, this is making me think more and more that this is going to be a good movie. I mean, my hopes are up. And that I really, really hope that the movie lives up, lives up to the hype. Um, hopefully, Hopefully, Abrams is going to knock this one out of the park. Anyways, moving on to the Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice trailer. Um, now, I've been very critical of DC's cinematic universe. I think they've done... They've really had some... Uh, uh, some issues, even with just one movie. Um, that one movie being Man of Steel. Um... But there are good things in the trailer. There are things I, I did like out of it. Uh, Jeremy Irons' is narration. Uh, Jeremy Irons plays uh, Alfred Pennyworth back. Uh, for those who might not know, and I find that hard to believe that anyone doesn't know, but uh, Bruce Wayne's butler. Uh, his narration for about half of the uh, trailer is really cool. Um, and... Uh, I'm actually very much looking forward to seeing his portrayal of Alfred. Um, getting getting to see the Batmobile and potentially also the Batplane in action was cool. Uh, it was it's different from the uh, the mayhem we've been we have seen in uh, the DC Cinematic Universe thus far. Also, uh, Ben Affleck's. Uh, Batman voice doesn't come off like it's going to be the punchline jokes, mainly because he seems to be using a voice modulator as opposed to trying to sound like he just smoked a cart of cigarettes in five minutes. Uh, bad things. Now, there are two things. One of them may as well be 20 things. Um, first off, this shows... The trailer, as well as Man of Steel, are show, show, to me at least, that DC has no idea how to properly handle a cinematic universe with their characters. Um, it, it just seems like they want to make everything Dark Knight. But Dark Knight was great, but it, it, it only applies for one character. Um... And the next other thing is that the movie kind of feels like it's going to be Broodfest 16. And who's, where's, have, see, just who can brood the hardest? Superman or Batman? 
it's going to be Batman. He can brood a lot harder than Superman. And my overall reaction, I was really unimpressed. Um, this looks like it's just going to be more of the same as we had with Man of Steel, and Man of Steel was not a great movie. So I'm not looking forward. I'm really not looking forward. I'm yes, I'm still going to see it, and hopefully, hopefully, the movie proves me wrong. I've been proven wrong before. We'll see. Um, now, I will be linking uh, both trailers uh, in the description box below. Uh, I'll, I'll, and also, link the, now there will be, uh, as usual, my uh, Facebook and Twitter links. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll be back on Wednesday with the Weekly TV Roundup. Um, as always, live long, rock hard.